there's Katie and Tamara and we are going to be putting on a video for our recreational classes so that we can do a little bit of gymnastics at home. Um, to start with, we're going to need you guys to grab yourself a chair, a pillow, a coin and a drink bottle. So pause the video now and go and grab those things for us. To start with, we're going to warm up by doing a coin flip game. So I want you to grab your coin and we are going to do different exercises depending on what, whether it lands on the heads or tails. So our first one is going to, if it lands on heads, we are going to do five push-ups and if it lands on tails, we're going to do five calf raises. Me and Tamara will be doing the different things. So flip your coin now and if it lands on heads, we're doing our five push-ups. And if it lands on tails, you're doing your five car phrases. So off you go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Well done. All right, we're going to flip our coin again. Our, and the next one is going to be, if it is heads, it is five candlesticks. And if it is tails, it is five sit-ups. So, I'm heads, Tamara is tails. Let's go. One. Two. Five. Well done, everyone. All right, let's do one more. And if it is... If it is heads, it is five frog jumps. And if it is tails, it is ten high knees. So, I will be doing the frog jumps for our head. And tomorrow we'll be doing high knees for tails. Ready? Let's go. Well done, everyone. Good job. All right, now that we have finished our warm-up, we're going to go and work on our shapes. So, tomorrow's gonna demonstrate the shapes for us as I explain them to you guys, okay? So, we're gonna start with rocket shape. So, arms up to the air, nice and high, lifting through our body and pulling up tall. Let's hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Well done, everyone. From there, we are going to go into our star shape. So, star shape, our arms are out nice and wide. Same with our legs. Chin is up nice and tall. And we are nice and strong through our body. And let's hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. All right, from there, we're going to go and sit on the ground. And we are going to do our tuck shape. So I want you to bring your knees nice and close to your chest. We're going to put our arms out in front of us. And this is our tuck position. Make sure our knees are as close to our body as they can be. And our legs are bent. And let's hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. From here, we're going to straighten our legs out nice and long. And then pull our arms up to the roof. Beautiful. Make sure our toes are nice and pointed and our fingertips are pulling up tall one two three four five well done from there we are going to go into pipe so we're going to bring our fingers all the way to our toes one two three four five well done everybody all right from this position i want us to spread our legs out into our straddle shape so we're still pointing those toes. Our knees are nice and straight and out wide. And we are going to try and reach for our toes. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, everybody. All right. From here, we're going to bring our legs back together, have our fingers behind us still pointing towards our toes. And we're going to lift our hips up nice and tall to the roof so we're in a back support position and let's go lift one two three four 
five, well done, coming down from there. And then we're gonna turn over into our front support position. So turning over and holding front support. While we're doing this, we wanna make sure our shoulders are nice and round, our bottom is squeezed, they're not sticking up in the air. And we're gonna hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, everybody. All right, our last one we're going to do is our motorbike landing. So, standing up nice and tall, our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, arms out in front of us, we're gonna bend down knees, keep our chest up nice and strong, chin up tall, and arms out in front. Now we do our motorbike landing after we jump. Um, what else do we do our motorbike landing? <laughs> Mainly after we jump. Yeah. So, we're gonna practice our jumps now and practice landing in that motorbike position, okay? So we're gonna start with just a nice big rocket jump. So arms up nice and tall. We're gonna swing them down, swing them back to the roof, and motorbike. Well done, let's do five of those. Ready, one more time with me. Arms out nice and tall. Swing your arms down, up to the roof, and land in motorbike. Well done, let's do four more. Ready, arms up nice and tall, and swing. Good, three more. Well done. One more rocket jump. Beautiful, all right, we're gonna have a go at our star jumps now. So just like our star position, arms out nice and wide, legs nice and wide, we have to be fast with our legs to bring them back together and land in that motorbike shape. Ready, let's go, arms up. And big star jump, landing motorbike. Well done, let's do four more. Big star jump. Three more. Two. Last one, make it big. Well done, all right. And now we're gonna have a go at doing half turns. So I'm gonna start facing one way, we're gonna do a big turn. Lady down, move back, facing the other way. So let's give that a go. Arms out in front of us. Swing down, big jump. Motorbike, well done. And why don't we try starting at that wall we finish and twisting back the other direction. Ready, arms out nice and straight. Big jump. Well done. All right, good job everybody. If you want, go and grab a drink now. And then we will move on to the next thing. All right, our next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on some bar skills. So, we're gonna start off with our front support shape again. Tamara's gonna show us the front support. When we are doing our front support, we need to make sure our hands are pushing into the ground while our shoulders are pulling up to the roof. So we're reaching those shoulders nice and long and keeping nice round shoulders. We have a nice straight body all the way down and we're squeezing our bottom nice and tight. Beautiful, now this is a beautiful big cast shape. From there, we are going to hold it for 10 seconds, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done everybody. All right, the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna work on some of those casts. So we're gonna think about that body shape we just did and we're gonna take it into our next activity. Okay, so we're gonna start in an angry cat, which is the exact same as our front support, but our knees are on the ground this time. So nice round shoulders, knees down. From there, we are going to lift our knees up the floor, onto our toes, and then jump our legs up nice and high into a cast shape. Beautiful, landing in that front, so front support position. All right, we're gonna demonstrate it again and you guys can give it a go. So, <laughs> in angry cat position, jumping onto front support. Well done. All right, I want us to try 10 of those. So, we're gonna do it together. On the ground, in our angry cat, toes down, big jump, front support. And number two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more, three more, eight. 
everyone to grab and we're going to work on that fun support shape and cast one more time so Tamara's going to put her hands on the floor and her feet up onto the chair beautiful making sure our fingers are facing forwards we have those nice round shoulders again our shoulders are on top of our hands our bottom is down and our legs are up nice and tall and we're going to hold this for 10 seconds 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, coming down. Amazing work. All right, and that is the last of our bars. And we're going to move on to beam. Now with beam, if you have a line somewhere, maybe there's a line on your tiles or a line in your wooden floor, I want you to find it and I want you to use it. Okay? And we're going to use that line just like it's a beam at gymnastics. And we're going to try and stay on it the whole time we are doing our exercises. So we're going to start off, arms in a big present, nice and tall. And we're just going to walk on that line, chin up nice and tall, and nice walks. So I want you to do five walks forward and five walks backwards. Beautiful. From there, we're going to do that two more times. Okay, let's go. Arms up tall. Five walks forward. And five walks backwards. One more time. Good work. And if you fall off your line, that does not matter. You just hop straight back on that line. If you don't have a line, that doesn't matter either. You're just making sure we're pretending that there's a line in front of you that you've got to walk on. All right, moving on. We're going to do big step kicks now. So our arms are going to go into that present position again. And our legs are going to kick up nice and tall, making sure we have a nice pointed toe and our knee is locked out. Let's go. We're going to do five kicks forward. One, two, three. Four, five, well done. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to go back, but we are going to do side kicks this time. So we're just going to run backwards. Our hands are going to go in front of us and we're going to kick to the side. Beautiful. And then back to our forward kicks. So let's do it two more times each. Arms up nice and tall and let's go. Beautiful. And no side kicks. Beautiful. One more time each. Well done, everybody. All right, from there we're going to do our grapevine. So with our grapevine, we are going to turn to the side of our line. I'm going to keep facing forward so you can see what I'm doing. On our line, we're going to get one foot, step it in front of us, then to the side, then we're getting that same foot and going behind. And then to the side, in front, side, behind. Once you've done that twice, you're going to go back in the other direction. Side, behind, side, in front. All right, let's give it a go, standing on our lines. And let's go, side, in front, side, behind. Side, in front, side, behind. And back the other way, side, in front, side, behind. Side, in front, side, behind. Well done, let's do it one more time. Move our box back and let's go. Side in front, side 
behind, side in front, side behind, and let's change direction, side in front, side behind, side in front, side behind. Well done everybody. All right, the next one we're going to work on is we're going to work on our angry cat crawls. So we're going to go down on our hands and knees, making sure we still have that line in front of us. And we are going to put one hand in front of the other. So it's like we are on a beam. And we're going to round our shoulders, pull our button to, belly button to our back, and we are going to crawl across that line. Pretending that we are on the beam. And then once you get to the top, you're going to go backwards. Well done, let's do it again. Make sure hand in front of the other and our knees come in front of the other. And backwards. Well done everybody. All right, now this is where we're gonna grab our pillow. We don't have a pillow here, so we're going to use the foam box. All right, so we're going to grab our pillow. We're going to pop it on the ground and we're going to work on our balances. So we're going to start off with just two feet, make it easy for us. One foot goes on our pillow and then two feet. And we're just going to balance nice and tall. Arms down, chins up, we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Well done. Now, if one pillow is too easy, you can put another pillow on top to make it a little bit harder. Now, this time we're going to put just one foot on the pillow and we are going to hold a passe position from knee up nice and tall. So let's put our pillow foot down and lift that knee up nice and tall. We have the balance on our pillow. Let's hold for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. If you fall down, that's okay. Just get straight back up and try again. Now we're going to switch feet and do our other leg. So foot down on the pillow and lifting that knee up nice and tall. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, well done, hopping off. Now, we're going to do that again, and if that was too easy, we can make it a little bit harder. So let's start with just our two feet on the pillow. And if this, the last round was too easy, I want you to close your eyes this time. Ready, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your eyes and then step off the pillow. Well done. All right, let's go to our one foot passe hold. So stepping on before we close our eyes in our passe position, and then you can close your eyes. Now this makes it a little bit harder. Let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open your eyes, stepping off. Well done, and switching legs. Setting on, find your passe position, then close your eyes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open your eyes, stepping off. Good job. And then for our last one, we are going to try and hold an arabesque. So we are putting one foot on our pillow and we are lifting our other leg behind us, keeping our chest up, nice and tall, arms to the side. I want you to try and spot something in front of you and hold this position. Five, four, three, two, one. Down you come, well done. All right, let's switch our legs and do the same thing. Chest up, arms out, leg up nice and tall behind us. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, 
down you come. Well done, everybody. All right, we are going to finish up by doing a quick cool down and stretching out our body. So we're gonna grab our head and we're gonna tilt it to the side. And the other side. And big arm circles. And then we're going to stop and go the other way. Good. And then we're going to bring our arm across our body, pulling it in nice and tight to our chest. And then switching arms and doing the same thing. Then we're going to legs apart further than shoulder width this time. We're going to put one hand on our hip, one arm up to the roof and lean over to the side. Lifting up nice and tall, and let's go to the other side. This time we're going to lift both arms up to the roof nice and tall, and then you're going to go down and see if you can touch the ground. sit on our bottoms, do our L shape that we did before, arms up to the roof and reach for those toes. Good job sitting up, we're going to take one foot on top of our other leg, holding our ankle, we're going to roll the foot. And then we're going to stop and roll it the other way. And then switching legs, we're going to do the same thing. So rolling one way. And then stopping and rolling the other way. Well done. All right, then we're going to stand up nice and tall and we're going to shake everything out. So let's shake arms. Let's shake our legs and shake everything. Well done. All right, I hope you guys had a fun time today and we can't wait to see your smiling faces back in the gym.